Look at that. It takes more than just guts to go after animals larger than yourself, whether it's for food or a fight. In the case of food, smaller predators need to develop some crazy hunting techniques or possess a powerful weapon to bring down animals that outrank them in size. Yet, these little fighters never back down from a challenge, determined to get their big animal meals one way or another. Other small animals attack bigger ones if they threaten their young or if the bigger animals are just being bullies. Welcome back to Forever Green. Before we dive in, we've got a question for you. Is the toad eating the beetle? or is the beetle eating the toad? Take a good look. Put your guesses in the comments below and stick around to find the answer. All right, let's dive in. Number 15, otter. Giant otters can be very territorial, especially when it comes to protecting their young. So when these jaguars encroach on their space, it can mean only one thing, trouble. Otters are generally about 5.6 feet in length and have incredible aquatic agility. On the other hand, jaguars can pierce a turtle shell with their powerful jaws and are 6.5 feet in length and weigh up to 220 pounds. But none of that means anything to the otter, apparently. Otters might look soft and cuddly, but remain dangerous wild animals. They have strong teeth and a powerful bite, a top predator, the otter, is known to some local people in Brazil as the aquatic jaguar. And you can see in this showdown how the otter's noises and movements force the real big cats to take a step back. Otters have even been spotted taking down caimans, the giant alligators that terrorize the Amazon. So whether you see an otter on land or at sea, be sure to maintain a safe distance of at least 50 yards while you admire their cuteness. Oh my gosh! What the? Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Number 14. Praying Mantis. Mantises are surprisingly ferocious insects. It sounds crazy to say that not one, but two tiny insects are challenging the natural order and preying on birds, but it's true. Praying mantises all around the world do just that. Researchers observe these predators preying on a variety of different songbirds and hummingbirds in dozens of countries. Scientists have previously observed them attacking and feasting on various small bird species, and the stories are brutal. Mantises have been seen impaling the bird's chest, dangling it by its legs, or in the case of this photo, grabbing it by the skull and feeding on its head. Other descriptions of mantises eating hummingbirds say, that the insect usually starts by grabbing the bird by the neck, surprising it while feeding on a flower or at a feeder. They deal with lizards the same way, going for the head. The praying mantis will either scalp the creature or dig through the eye sockets to get to its favorite part, the brain. Number 13, Goliath Bird Eater. As you may have guessed from its name, the Goliath Bird Eater is a tarantula that eats large adult birds. Despite the name though, they don't exclusively stick to birds. They will essentially attack anything that they encounter. They have that name because of an early 18th century copper engraving by Maria Sibylla Marion that shows one eating a hummingbird. The spider hunts in leaf litter on the ground at night, so the chances of encountering a bird are pretty slim. However, if it found a nest, it could easily kill the parents and the chicks and puncture and drink bird eggs. The ambush predator usually chooses to eat smaller prey like toads and rodents, but will gladly eat things much larger should they dare stumble across it. This Albedon ground snake, for example, made the mistake of crossing the Goliath's path and suffered for it. Ground snakes are easily over 3 feet long, while goliath spiders weigh 175 grams and have a length of 13 centimeters. Despite its hunting prowess, this spider rarely harms humans. That said, you still shouldn't mess with them. 
they carry venom in their fangs, and while they won't eat you, they will cause you pain for a few hours. Number 12. Stoat Many predators eat prey larger than them, but the most exceptional one is probably the stoat. Stoats are essentially cousins of the weasel, and their diet consists of small rodents and fish, and sometimes it's rabbits. Now, what's so impressive about eating a rabbit, you ask? Well, stoats are only around 260 grams, but they hunt huge animals like hares that weigh more than 3.6 kilograms or 8 grams, which is up to 10 times their size. They often go in for the kill by biting the back of the neck and they have quite the reputation as fearsome, efficient predators. Number 11. Golden Eagles There's no doubt about it, eagles are one of the most effective predators on the planet. We've seen them effortlessly pluck fish out of the water or a snake from the ground and fly off. The golden eagle is one of the largest, fastest, nimblest raptors in North America. Lustrous gold feathers gleam on the back of its head and neck. A powerful beak and talon showcase its hunting prowess. With a wide-ranging diet, they will eat almost anything they can kill, including other birds, small mammals, and reptiles. But it doesn't stop there. Golden eagles have been seen even killing goats and deer by flying into them to knock them off cliffs. In terms of actual size, goats and other similar mammals are not that big compared to the golden eagle. However, when you consider that even the biggest of these birds generally weighs less than 15 pounds, you realize these birds confidently go after prey very far outside their weight class. Number 10. Wolverine Nope, not that Wolverine. We're talking about this little guy. Basically a weasel on steroids. Along with a voracious appetite, it has a reputation for unmatched ferocity and apparently fears nothing. It has strength wildly out of proportion to its size, and is known to kill prey many times larger than itself. They are opportunistic hunters who typically feed on carrion and smaller prey like rabbits and rodents. But, as you can see here, they're willing to risk their lives against more formidable adversaries when food is scarce. They can even be seen driving bears and mountain lions off their kills, two or three at a time in fact. They can even take down a bear in a fight. With bone-cracking jaws and an excellent sense of smell, these guys are not ones to back down from a fight. Before we move on, here's a quick challenge for you. If you can leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications in less than 5 seconds, you will have 10 years of amazing luck. Hurry up and try it. It actually works. Number 9. Baboon As omnivores, baboons eat a wide array of meats and plants. Typical foods in a baboon's diet include grasses, fruits, rodents, birds, and the young of antelopes, sheep, and other mammals. Sometimes they'll even eat other monkeys. Baboons are not usually out looking for a fight unless you wander into their territory. Baboons can be very territorial and will threaten you with their 4-inch fangs. Just see what happens when this cheetah enters the home base of the Kakma baboons. They all go on high alert and watch the intruder like hawks. They move in quickly and the cheetah, noticing this, moves away. But the retreat, it seems, was a bad move. It's not about territory anymore. It's about sending a message to keep away. So, the baboons all give chase until the cheetah is out of their turf. Not many would challenge an apex predator like that. Number 8. Dragonfly Or more specifically, dragonfly larvae. Dragonfly larvae are major aquatic predators that often eat tadpoles, and this has forced the tadpoles to come up with devious defense strategies. The tadpoles of leopard frogs will speed up their maturation if they are in a pod with dragonfly larvae. Other species of tadpoles hide or develop ornamentations on their tails 
to trick the larvae into striking the less vulnerable parts of their bodies. They were not thought to attack adult frogs, but new studies have shown they do. The voracious larvae would climb out of their ponds onto water plants, then leap onto the frogs and eat them alive, while the frogs would try to escape, only to fail. Now and again, adult dragonflies also get in on the act. For instance, check out this photo of a Canadian dragonfly called a dragon hunter, catching a ruby-throated hummingbird by the neck and feeding on it. The photographer, Daryl Ferris, picked up the pair and separated the dragonfly from the hummingbird. Once he finally got them separated, the dragonfly flew away instantly, but the hummingbird took a few minutes to get over the shock. Number 7. Piranha Piranhas developed a reputation as rabid flesh eaters who consume anything that comes into their water, and that's not entirely false. Piranhas can strip a fish down to the bone in minutes. A piranha has powerful jaws with sharp teeth and is a formidable predator, and with a bite stronger than that of a great white shark, these guys are built to cause damage. But the truth is, they generally do not hunt anything much bigger than they are, since they don't live in big enough schools to tackle sizable prey. These fish usually only feed on other fish or wounded animals. But a hungry piranha will bite at almost anything, even other piranhas. So ducks and baby birds aren't much of a stretch. Oh my god. Sam. Number 6, snapping turtle. The common snapping turtle, the omnivore that it is, will eat almost anything it comes across. It could be birds or watermelon or even something as risky as a piranha. While most of its food comes from vegetation and small fish, it will even take advantage of larger animals that let their guard down around them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, oh. oh my god. They are known for their combative disposition when out of the water with their powerful beak-like jaws and highly mobile head and neck. He's gonna rip his face apart. Snapping turtles are almost entirely aquatic and can be found in a wide variety of aquatic habitats, preferably with slow-moving water and a soft, muddy, or sandy bottom. Once they zero in on a kill, they use their strong jaws and powerful grip to easily grab onto the necks of birds and small mammals and drag them into the water. Since their victims can't swim, they make an easy meal for the turtle, biting chunks out of the floating corpses. Did you get that? He got it. Oh. Yeah, got him. Yeah, he's got him. Number 5. Spider Wasp Spider wasps take their name after the prey that they hunt. They have long legs and dark wings that may look oily. You're most likely to see them on or around flowers as they feed on nectar. What gives spider wasps their name is the fact that the females of the species prey on spiders. When she catches one, she stings and paralyzes the spider. She then drags it to her nest, where she'll lay eggs. The spider provides a food source for when they hatch. But it will also gladly kill even bigger species, like tarantulas, which tower over them in size. Using their venomous stinger, the wasp injects a toxin into its prey that quickly paralyzes them, leaving them completely vulnerable to the wasp. In most cases, it will then lay a single larvae egg into the spider's body that will then develop and eat the spider from inside out. So technically, the wasp's larvae also take down a being much larger than itself. Number 4. Scolopendra Centipedes Centipedes are mostly carnivorous, and contrary to belief, they are not insects but arthropods. The scolopendra is also commonly referred to as the giant centipede, and they have been known to cause fatalities. Centipedes in general will eat small vertebrates such as mice, but the scolopendra goes for slightly bigger creatures as part of its diet. Specifically, roosting bats that live in caves. They scuttle across the top of the caves and then plant their legs into the roof. 
anchor to the spot, they then use their large fang-like forcipules to grab a bat sleeping on the wall or one that happens to be flying by. As if that weren't impressive enough, Scolopendra centipedes also go after snakes, including the highly venomous coral snake. Number 3. Snakes With unblinking eyes that seem bigger than their stomachs, snakes swallow some of the largest prey imaginable compared to their slender figures. We're sure you've seen footage of pythons devouring deer and crocodiles. Snakes attack either with venom or by wrapping themselves tightly around their prey. The snake will seize the prey with its mouth, throw itself around it, and then start constriction. When prey exhales, the snake will tighten its coils so it can't inhale. This goes on till the prey meets a gruesome end. Their expandable jaws and flexible bone structures allow snakes to eat prey many times their own size and weight. Their bodies simply expand to allow large animals to pass through, and when a snake eats a large mammal or even a crocodile, it won't need to feed again for several weeks. Of course, some snakes can't take it all in and end up exploding. It sounds disgusting, but that's what you get for overeating. It is now time to check out today's subscriber pick. Remember, if you ever come across some bizarre or fascinating image, you can send it to us and we'll investigate. Today's picture seems to be of a badger going head to head with a lion. Now, while that's a poorly photoshopped image, there are instances where honey badgers have gone up against the king of the jungle. Check out our number two spot on the list. Number two, honey badger. This ferocious little creature may not be much in size, but it definitely has more heart than some of the biggest predators out there. The honey badger is a strong, intelligent, and fierce mammal. Its stocky, flattened body has short, strong legs and claws on the front feet that are perfect for digging. The honey badger's skin is not only tough, it's also loose enough so the honey badger can turn around in it and bite its attacker. And speaking of bites, they can survive the bites of some dangerous creatures. They eat scorpions and snakes with no care in the world and have unusually high immunity to venom. They're so brave that honey badgers have been seen chasing young lions off their kills and attacking buffaloes, wildebeest, and water bucks. All of these species have been found dead due to blood loss as a result of honey badgers attacking their genitals, the badger's prime attack target. A honey badger has even been spotted fighting off six lions at a time. Honey badgers are primarily carnivorous and will eat anything from birds and lizards to deadly snakes. A honey badger has been documented being bitten by a highly venomous puff adder while killing it. It then laid down next to the dead snake, slept for a few hours, and woke up to devour its meal with no apparent ill effect from the venom. Well, nothing a good nap can't solve. Look at that. Number 1. Epimus Beetle At the beginning of the video, we asked you if this toad is eating the insect or if the insect is eating the toad. We hope you have put your answers in the comments. Amphibians are usually much larger than their helpless prey. They snatch up everything that looks to be of manageable size, but one beetle has evolved to put them in their place. The Epimus species of beetle remains one of the most unique ever discovered. In the larvae stage, the creatures perform a kind of dance that attracts passing toads and frogs larger than them. Once the amphibian comes close enough to try to eat the larvae, it dodges out of the way and quickly latches onto the skin of its prey. Here, it can essentially suck the creature dry, leaving just bones behind. And what if the toad is fast enough and manages to actually swallow the beetle? Well, let's hope that doesn't happen. Scientists once watched a toad nab and successfully eat an epimus larva, only to throw it up two hours later. At first, the larva lay motionless, but then suddenly it snapped up and attacked the toad again. Just imagine if the food you just ate came back out and attacked you. Researchers found that out of hundreds of tests, no frog or toad successfully ate the larvae or escaped. 
adult beetles are often more adventurous, jumping on a toad's rear and sinking its jaws into the flesh. So basically, amphibians can go ahead and climb down off their high horses. Some of the hunters in this list are literally infants, and they almost always get their prey. Even in the natural realm, size, as it turns out, doesn't matter. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and check out more videos on nature and animals on the Forever Green channel. We'll be back soon with another video. But until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.